Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, trying something a little different this time. Uh, what I wanted to do today was go over uh, these Ultra Pro One Touch comic book cases that I recently got. Full disclosure, uh, I did not, nobody sent this to me to review. I'm doing this on my own. Uh, I was looking for alternatives to, you know, CGC or CBCS. I know. You know, not everybody can gather up enough comics and maybe you don't have all the money to, to spend to send to them uh, all at once. The wait time's along, uh, you know, six to eight months you have to wait. Um, is it worth it to send the book? Sometimes you have books that aren't necessarily a high dollar value. They're just kind of sentimental reasons you want to preserve them. Whatever the case may be, uh, looking for kind of a do-it-yourself alternative to slabbing comics and I was looking up and I came across these uh, there's some other options out there that are available as well but um, I decided on these I bought three of them uh, about a, got these three in about a week ago I was really happy with them so I ordered some more and I'm gonna take you through the actual whole process I'm gonna go into a review of them and go through the whole process of actually putting a comic into one of them for you so um, you know this is an honest review and you can see the ones I put in right now. Um, these are the current size that they have. Let me switch the camera around and I'll go ahead and show you how everything is and how everything works. Okay, so I'm trying to slide a different camera position here. Let's see if this works. Hopefully I won't bump the camera too much. But this is the Ultra Pro current size one touch comic book case. Uh, they come, you can get them single or in a three pack. I ordered mine in a three pack. Uh, you can see they're all they're all bundled together they're all wrapped together in a three pack and then if you open the three pack they all come individually wrapped as well uh, let me get this out of the way sorry um but yeah so that's uh that's how they come now they're intended to be used with something that ultra pro makes called uh comic preservers and what these are these are the comic preservers, that's the current size. Um, these, uh, the item number is actually right here. It's 85342. And what these are, are they're basically they're just comic book bags with a built-in backing board. I'll pull one out here for you. So this is what they look like. Uh, it's just it's a very thick, it's a poly bag, but it's a very thick poly bag. Um, kind of a heavier duty. It's got uh, the strip on the back that you can peel off, so it's kind of a resealable. And then the board is actually built into, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually built into the bag. It's completely encased inside the bag. You cannot take the board out. I haven't found a way to take the board out without cutting the bag. So the board's built into the bag which prevents the comic from actually touching the board. So the comic is, is in between the two pieces of plastic of the bag, of the poly, and then your board protects it. So I know there's, there's some uh, discussion about whether or not it's, it's good to have the board touching the comic or not, um, but whatever the case, that's how these are made. Uh, the bonus is that they are, they are built in. The downside, of course, is uh, unfortunately, if you want to see the back cover of the comic, you're not going to be able to see it because the, the board's going to be in the way. Now, if you're hanging these up on your wall for display, which is what these are intended for, you're not going to see the back anyway. So, you know, how big of a deal that is to you, it's up to you. But uh, that's what these are. These have kind of, um, kind of an edge to them. And again, they're designed to fit right in here. So I will pull one out. And I'm going to show you. This is one I've already opened. So this is it. They've got two little magnets up here, right here and right here, and how you, and there's three little tabs along the bottom. There's a little tab here, a little tab here, a little tab here that slots into the back. So the front just comes right off. All you got to do is lift this up just like that, and then these three tabs here, you pull them out. If you can see the, uh, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but there's one of the tabs right there. There's three of those, and that's it. That's is it's all you got to do is that easy to open them up you can see they're pretty clear um, they have a little bit of frosting on the bottom down here there's an ultra pro logo right there along the back but that doesn't touch anything that's along the border 
Uh, you've got a built-in hanger, which is really nice to have. And it's, again, it's frosted up here. Uh, as far as the size goes, on the inside, again, they're intended to be used with these. But if you want, if you have, say, a Golden Age comic, that might fit in here if you just put it in raw. Um, for reference point, this is a Silver Age bag and board. Obviously, the comic's not Silver Age, but the bag and board is Silver Age size. So that will fit in with a little bit of room to move around a little bit just for a reference point. So what we're going to do is going to, we're going to, I'm going to get an actual comic and put it in the comic preserver bag and put it in here and show you how that works. All right. So let me move this out the way real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to take this web of Spider-Man number one and put it in the comic book preserver. All right, so pull this out nice and gently. I hate tape. <laughs> I hate having tape on those bags. That's why I like, I do like these strips, the self-sealing ones or the resealing ones because the, the sticky part is on the back of the bag and not on the flap. And I just find it makes it easier to get comics in and out without damaging them. But what we're going to do is this just slides right in here, just like that. There we go, nice and easy. And that's it. You know, maybe a slight little tap. And it's in. All you got to do from there is you pull this little, there's a little plastic, if you can see that, but a little plastic uh, cover for the adhesive. You pull that off. And then you take your flap, flip it over, and just flatten it out so the adhesive seals it. And again, if you want, you can just peel this open and pull it out and read it whenever you want. But there it is. It's in the comic protector. And this is actually nice to have. They, these come in a pack of 10. And these are actually nice to have just if you need a little extra protection than a regular bag and board. Uh, this would be something to consider to, to get just on its own. This does fit in a comic book box, by the way. Um, it'll fit in a, a standard uh, short box or long box. So, you know, a little extra protection here along the sides. As you can see, it's got some extra extra distance from the comic along each side. And what that is intended for, of course, is, let me open this again, that easy. It's intended to just slide right in. And now these, this extra side prevents the comic from moving around. So it's in there nice and snug. You line these three tabs up with the slots. Right down there. Close it. And you are done. You have now slabbed your own comic. You do it yourself. Slab and there it is. That easy. Again, you can't see the back cover, but if it's going to be on the wall, that's all you're going to see anyway, right? Now. For comparison, if you want to compare it to a CGC, this is a CGC that I've got, CGC slab. Um, let me see if I can get it here without too much light reflection. Now it's going to be a little off-center on camera, but okay, so it's a little bit shorter than a CGC uh, slab, but other than that, the dimensions are pretty close in terms of width. They're pretty, pretty close, and then thickness. Uh, see if you can see that again pretty close so it's pretty heavy duty it's pretty thick um, it's it's going to give you protection it's got uv protection as well i think i forgot to mention that now it's not 100 percent it's somewhere around 90 uh i don't know 95 97 percent something like that uv protection so you probably want to avoid direct sunlight but still um it'll keep uh it'll keep your comics from fading too bad if you want to display them, which is what we want to do, right? We want to show off our comics and everything. So, there you go. Uh, again, there are other options out there, but just uh, considering the pros and cons, the ease of being able to get these in and out, if I want to swap them around, I can. You know, you can you can hang up maybe three of these on a wall and then get your, your bags, you got 10 bags, and then you can just 
pop this open and just pull this out and pop another one in and rotate them with just the three, you know, so you can display three at a time. And then when you get tired of those, just pop them out the case, put three more in and, and kind of rotate through your collection that way. Or if you want to buy a whole bunch of these, you can do that too. But the ease of getting them in and out, the built-in hanger is really nice. Uh, you just put a nail on the wall and there you go. Uh, they're pretty heavy duty. They're solid. They're double protected with the, the addition of the bag on the inside. So a lot like CGC where you get the comic inside of a protective layer that's then encased in another case. This is a similar situation where you get the comic inside a protective layer and then encased inside the hard case itself. So I like all of that. Um, you know, the biggest con is not being able to see the back, the back for me. But other than that, uh, it displays very nicely. It's very, very clear. Uh, they look great on the wall. And this is just kind of the way to go for me. So, um, you know, you can, you can keep books in here that maybe aren't worth sending to CGC. Or if you want to protect a book and send it off to CGC later, this is another great way to keep them protected until you get them graded. So just a great option. Uh, there are other options out there. Gator, I think Gator Guard is one of them. And that has screws that you have to actually screw in each corner. So it's a little bit, a little more difficult to get in and out. And it doesn't have a built-in hanger on those from what I remember. Um, but look around, poke around, see what you like and what you don't like. I really, really like these. Uh, I definitely recommend them. I'm going to be getting some more of these, I can tell you right now. I've got, uh, I just ordered, uh, I had the three that I got last week just to test them out. Uh, as soon as I got them, I liked them so much, I went back and ordered six more. So I just got the other six in, and that's what I'm showing you here today. Uh, I'll be ordering some more again in the future. These are just a really nice way to protect some of your more valuable or more nostalgic value comics either way. Um, and a great way to display them. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to get some more videos out sometime soon, and we'll see how this goes. I've, I've been getting some more books again here recently, so I've got some more stuff to show you. But uh, I wanted to show this off while I got these in, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. Uh, and again, look around and look at some of the other options, see which ones are best for you. Uh, for me, this did it. So, um, Ultra Pro, One Touch. There it is. That's it. And make sure you get the uh, the bags for them as well, the comic preservers. Because these are these are actually, like I said, I think these are worth it, even if you don't get the cases, and you just want something a little more heavy duty to protect some of your more valuable comics. Obviously, I wouldn't use this for all of my comics, but for a few of the more valuable ones, uh, it would be nice to have something like this just to offer a little extra protection. And it does, again, it does fit in the the short boxes and the long boxes. So. There you go. All right, thanks again for watching. Uh, collect what you love, and I'll catch you later.